had me on my board, I've got five things that you have to be able to answer as an electrical contractor in this era of raging, booming EV charger installations. If your business isn't doing at least 10 installs a month and you can't answer these five questions, it might be garbage. This video is brought to you by Fulcelin. So question number one is this, what wire gauge corresponds to your electric vehicle supply equipment? either as dictated by the vehicle itself, the equipment, or the limitation of what's available in your electrical distribution system. To answer question number one, American wire gauge. The wire size that you use for electric vehicle supply equipment is answered in this chart here. For a Ford Lightning, you'll use three gauge copper. For typical level two charging at 60 amps, six gauge copper using the next size up rule or the 75 degree C column. And for level one home charging, 12 gauge copper. Number two stands for the National Electrical Manufacturers Association. The three most common plug configurations that I see for electric vehicle charging are two of the ones supplied by Fulcelin today, the NEMA 1450 and 515 followed not far behind by the NEMA 650. The NEMA chart is available online. Number three is ampacity. One of the most important things that can't be overlooked when designing an electric vehicle charging station is continuous load. National Electrical Code 210.19a defines continuous load as any load that runs for three hours or more under standard operating conditions. This means that a D rate of 80% must be applied to the circuit capacity. Therefore, a 60 amp circuit can operate at a maximum of 48 amps of continuous load. Electric vehicles operating on a level two charging installation will often charge for up to six, seven, or eight hours continuously at a time therefore requiring an ampacity adjustment of 80% from the breaker size to the EVSE. So for context, if your electric vehicle requires a 32 amp rate of charge, you would multiply by the inverse of 80%, which is 125%, and you would size your entire circuit, both wire and breaker, to 40 amperes. And because Fulcelin is a 40 amp max rate of charge, we have plugged it into a NEMA 1450 outlet, which maximizes both the capacity of the circuit and the charge equipment. Number four, features. Five of my favorite features in electric vehicle supply equipment are a flexible cable with cable management. Believe it or not, that's not ubiquitous, but I love it and it makes a big difference in daily use app control with over the air upgrades, security controls, and almost most importantly, scheduled charging to maximize the cost savings associated with my electric vehicle. Fulcelin is equipped with dynamic load balancing management, PV charging prioritization. That means that your electric vehicle can be selected to charge first from the power that's produced from your solar array. In North America, the EV charger can automatically identify the different voltage types of plugs and automatically identify the voltage and current corresponding to these plugs. There are three charging modes available. It's plug and play. Press the key from the control box or make a selection by pressing a button through the app. You can select to charge when the electricity rate is at its lowest, the off-peak rate, which often is overnight, Fulcelin has an anti-theft protection built in to prevent anyone from stealing your electric vehicle charging setup. This can be set up through the app. Fulcelin provides 20 milliamp, 20 millisecond leakage protection for electrical safety. 
through the mobile app, you can establish your utility rates and Fullsland will send you a charging bill to your email to keep you aware of the cost of operating your electrical vehicle. Over-the-air firmware upgrades are available and convenient for the maintenance of your charging software. The Fullsland charger can easily be left in place on the wall with the provided holster or wrapped up in the convenient carrying case and taken in the car. So when I was unboxing the Fulslin and you saw these, you might've asked yourself, whoa, what is that? Feels intimidating, how do I do it? I'm gonna walk you through the installation, start to finish. And then I'm gonna explain why and why the Fulslin is almost entirely differentiated from anything else on the market. It's cheaper, easier, faster. Let's install. This is a split core CT. The split core CT is going to install around L1 and L2. On a three phase electrical distribution system, you'll also have L3, which is not present here or in almost any residential electrical setting. The split core CT opens, which prevents you from having to uninstall the conductors and creates for a simpler, easier installation. In the Fulsalin manual, it clearly states that the arrow is pointing towards the load. This is line side, the utility incoming side, and this is load side. Before snapping my CTs into place, I'm actually gonna terminate on my terminal block down below because CTs are gonna induce a low voltage on these conductors. To do this installation, I used a three mil flathead screwdriver and it worked great. Let me show you the easy correlation here. Each one of these leads is labeled. They come in groups of two. There are a total of three groups of two. I'm only using two sets of conductors today. That third set is for L3, line three in a three phase system which I will not be using. If you do need an additional split core CT of this exact specification, Fulsalin has it available on their web store. Now that I've tug tested all of my terminals, I'm ready to install my CTs on the lines. The beauty of a split core CT is that it opens up, prevents having to uninstall your main conductors and snaps right around L2 and L1. It does get pretty bulky, but at least the CTs are insulated to prevent accidental contact. I definitely recommend installing your CTs last, only once your wiring terminations are complete, because the CTs, like I mentioned, will induce voltage, which is how they take their reading. Before making final steps to beautify the interior of my electrical panel, I want to test the function of the product, and then I'll come back and use the supplied Fulsalin proprietary zip ties and button it down. Fulsalin has a nice readout on the charge box. You'll notice that you can press the button down below and select the amperage, 8, 12, 16, 24, 32, or 40. A lot of the mobile connectors will stop at 32 amps, so this is definitely a benefit. Temperature in the top left, charge indication on the left, grid voltage on the bottom right, also a button on the bottom right here where you can select the charging schedule, also possible through the mobile app. The Fulsalin app has an easy user interface. You can select your device, connect to it, and then see a full current state menu of the electrical characteristics. You can adjust the charge current and schedule the charge, which for me is really helpful because I have low, low cost off-peak charging for my electric vehicle. The history is a fantastic feature. I have a tenant in the carriage house, and if that tenant was ever to use my electric vehicle charging apparatus, 
I'd be able to monitor their usage and build them accordingly if I so choose. The ability to lock in particular, I mean, all these functions are nice, but to be able to lock the charger to prevent unauthorized usage is pretty darn cool. Folsland does have a really unique and entirely differentiated product. We've got the issue of what to do with the control wire. Thankfully, it is 300 volt rated and could be slipped inside of your installation conduit if required. However, it can also be installed exterior to the wall because it is low voltage and doesn't create a hazard or a safety issue to personnel. Because number five, incentives. See, I drive my Tesla 450 miles in the city on one full tank and I only pay $1.60 because I've maximized my utility incentive program unto my benefit and the benefit of my customers. When you understand the rebates, discounts, incentives, and programs that are at play in your area across all the different utility companies, you're able to make the best recommendations for your customers to enjoy long-term savings. That's why I've got this big boy. I can fit a small black bear in that enclosure or charge 10 EVs simultaneously. It's over the top. But if you missed this installation, it only took me 23 hours continuously. Check the description. I want to say thanks to Folsland for sponsoring this video. If you're an electrical contractor looking to advance your business and struggling to make money, check the description. I've got a free video course for electrical contractors like me. And subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.